All right, let's crack open the new M4 Mac Mini. This is the base model with 256 gigabytes of storage, a 10 core CPU and 16 gigabytes of memory. Apple gives you the option to customize storage up to two terabytes, but that upgrade alone costs an additional $800. Now check this out. We've got the RayQ docking station and inside it, a one terabyte PNY SSD, neatly enclosed within the dock itself. Even the charging cable stands out. It looks and feels better than most Apple cables. Let's take a closer look at the RayQ dock. The dock adds what the Mac Mini lacks, an SD card slot, and then two USB ports and HDMI for multi-monitor setups. Next up, we've got the Proto Arc wireless Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. And we've also added the Crucial X9 Pro, a one terabyte portable SSD that's fast, compact, and truly plug and play. With the PNY SSD configuration, you can see how the external drive appears on the Mac Mini. I've partitioned it into two 500GB volumes for better organization. So let's explore how we can save that $800 Apple charges for internal storage using alternate but effective options. Starting with Apple's pricing, the base Mac Mini is $599. Upgrading to 2TB storage adds $800. Based on my experience over the past 4 months, the 10-core CPU and 16GB memory handle everything from basic tasks to intensive workflows just fine. But 256GB of storage? That's not enough. Add the Magic Keyboard and Magic Mouse, priced at $179 and $79 respectively, and you're looking at another $260. That brings the total to $1,657 before tax. Now let's look at the non-Apple alternatives. The RayQ dock performs well and even enhances the Mac Mini's audio. It costs around $65 and includes extra ports plus internal mounting for the PNY 1TB SSD, which costs about $73. The Crucial X9 Pro, a 1TB external SSD, cost about $100 and is plug and play. The ProtoArc wireless keyboard and mouse combo cost around $60. It's rechargeable, holds power for about a week and after 4 months of use, I'm impressed with its performance. The keyboard is lightweight and offers a satisfying typing experience. So with all these alternatives, the total comes to around $900, saving you roughly $750 compared to Apple's full configuration. Thanks for watching.